Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff, and in this video, we're going to be discussing one of the special tests that can be used to evaluate for the presence of anterior ankle impingement, and that is what's called the forced dorsiflexion test, or assessing for a forced dorsiflexion sign. Now, we go over anterior ankle impingement more in other videos, so be sure to check those out on my channel. But it suffices to say for here that anterior ankle impingement is basically where dorsiflexion and sometimes eversion, but mainly dorsiflexion is painful because there is the perception of a blockage or a sharp pain in the front of the ankle. And it's not usually directly the anterior ankle. That would be about where my mouse is right there. It's usually more anterolateral. So where my thumb is compressing right there, that is usually more the site where you'll have anterior ankle impingement. So it's a little more anterolateral than just straight anterior. So to perform the forced dorsiflexion test, the patient will be positioned in short sitting. So leg is over the edge of the table right here, as you can see. Now I'm the PT here, and the PT is gonna grip the patient's calcaneus with one hand. You can see my fingers wrapping around the calcaneus there. And then the thumb is gonna compress right around the anterolateral ankle. And I'm actually directly um, anterior to the lateral malleolus, so kind of right in that area there. And then I'm gonna grasp the patient's foot proximally with my other hand, and by proximally I mean somewhere at the junction between the rear foot and the midfoot, or just at the midfoot. I'm not out here at the forefoot when I grab it. And I'm gonna use that hand to maximally dorsiflex their ankle while maintaining the pressure with this thumb with my other hand. Okay, so let's take a look at that. There's my other hand grasping that foot, and then I'm going to force it into maximum dorsiflexion while I maintain pressure on that point. And as opposed to the heel thrust test for posterior ankle impingement that we've also looked at, this is not a thrust. You're not having to do this movement fast. Um, you're doing this slow, as you saw there in the video, okay? And if that test reproduces their familiar anterior or anterolateral ankle pain. That is considered a positive test and fairly diagnostic uh, for anterior ankle impingement. Okay? Um, the psychometrics of the test are actually very good. The sensitivity is 95%, meaning if this does not reproduce their familiar pain, it's negative. There's a 95% chance that they do not have anterior ankle impingement. And it has a pretty good specificity as well, 88%. So if this test is positive, it reproduces their familiar ankle pain, then there's an 88% chance that they do have anterior ankle impingement. Now, one word of caution when interpreting the result of this test. As you can see right here where my thumb is on that spot, if I just push there and that reproduces that pain, that does not constitute a positive test, okay? Honestly, putting your thumb there on most people is probably not gonna be that comfortable. Um, what constitutes the positive test is when I have this thumb there maintaining that pressure and then when I add the dorsiflexion. It's only a positive test if when I add this dorsiflexion that it reproduces their pain, which makes sense when you understand what ankle impingement is. Anterior ankle impingement specifically occurs during dorsiflexion. So when the foot is just hanging down right there, it's in plantar flexion. I wouldn't expect to have anterior ankle impingement there. So just putting the thumb there and pushing, that doesn't mean anything. It's only when I maintain that pressure and move it into dorsiflexion and it reproduces their pain that that is a positive test. So just be careful with interpreting that result. So hopefully this video gave you a good way to assess for the presence of anterior ankle impingement and gave you some good information on the forced dorsiflexion test. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification for notifications for all videos in the future. Thank you so much.